Are you struggling to read your Bible and find consistency in the Word of God? Or maybe you're somebody who's never really considered themselves a reader? If you answered yes to one of those questions, then this video is for you, and I have three things that could help you out. up everyone welcome back to the kingdom vision podcast it feels good to be back just making podcasts and making content and pursuing things we got some new merch going to be coming out on brothers reborn so we're just excited to be back excited to start serving again i know i'm excited to start serving again but in terms of the topic today you know finding consistency in the word of god in spending time in the presence of god in relationship with god this will be something that we spend pretty much our whole lives in tension with it's going to be something that we're going to be working on our whole entire life until we see jesus face to face until we die or he returns this will be something that we're always not struggling with but working through on top of that the bible being a book i feel like our generation is the worst or the least reliant on books as any generation has ever been so in this video i'm gonna give you three tips to help find more consistency in the word of god and make sure you stay till point number three because that's the best one the most practical that has helped me but the first point would be to change your perspective from a checklist to a set list and i feel god gave me this analogy forgive me it may sound kind of wonky but contrary to a checklist which is only to get the task done to get the task done when you look at a checklist the only thing on your mind is to complete the task when i think of a set list i think of my favorite band or artist and all i want to do is pause time when I'm at a concert, all I want to do is stay in that moment forever. Like my favorite song comes on, everyone's singing, and I'm just like, wow, I don't want this to end. Compared to the checklist, which I could rather speed up, if I could, I would speed up that time as fast as I could just to get it done because it's miserable. And even if it's a to-do list with things you like, it doesn't have the same effect as a set list when you're like, I just want to pause time and sit in this moment forever. That's how we should approach the word of God. We should desire and long to just to spend time in the presence of God in relationships, spend time in prayer, in worship and music, in his word. We should just desire to spend time with him. And I think practically that can be done in two ways. And then the first one would be prayer, that if you don't have that affection, just pray to God, speak to the creator of the universe and say, Lord, give me that affection. Lord, I'm desiring the things of this world, work, you know, social life, etc., more than I'm desiring just to spend time with you. Lord, give me that fire and the affection for you and the things that are of you, your word, you know, worship music, worship about you, or music about you, community, relationship, people who who love you. You know, give me an affection for the things that are of you. And then second would be talking about the word of God, because this is about reading, you know, spending time with God would be to change your expectation. I'm sorry, change your goals. If you're reading like one hour a day, once a month, maybe try to switch it up and do 10 minutes a day every single day. That's what I would do. And, and that's going to be hard with the checklist idea. But like, you don't. Don't get it twisted that you got to have this cool Devo time or you got to have it has to be always in the morning at 7 a.m. with a cup of coffee in 35 minutes. If you find yourself spending, you know, enjoying your time in the afternoons with the Lord, getting in the word and do that. If you find yourself on the in the car, you know, listening to worship music and praying and, you know, listening to something I'm going to tell you at the end then do that. I would say change your expectations and modify it to your strengths where you're already spending time with the Lord and don't just keep beating a dead horse and, you know, switch it up. The second thing I would say is to get community. And obviously God knows what he's saying when he says it. But for me, it's like, gosh, but when he said iron sharpens iron, like he knew what he was saying when he said that. And I think for me personally, Accountability has played a radical role in God transforming my life. Spending time in God's word with community simply just gets our eyes off of ourselves. A lot of times we read the word, we approach the word of God with selfish hearts. We just want the warm and fuzzies. We want a, like a, just a personal revelation or just really always having our eyes on ourself is something that we all can fall victim to. Like simply when you're reading the word with a friend, you get to then care for that friend and pray for that friend in your eyes. And it just helps 
lift your eyes off yourself and on God in loving others, which is the greatest commandment. It's almost like God knew what he was doing when he said we are to be connected with the body of believers. The third piece of advice and the most practical I have is to listen to the Bible. That's what I started off with is the fact that it's interesting that for majority of history that m most people heard the word and didn't read the word. Like the last thousand years, people have really been pouring over the pages of the Bible but from eternity, most people heard the word of God. Like when Jesus, when the when the apostles wrote down the first, you know, epistles, they would carry around the words of Jesus in the epistles, and people would gather together in towns and just listen to the words that were spoken by God through these men. So there's an app called Dwell. It's like forty bucks a year. I was almost in a month. It's forty bucks a year, which is like four dollars a month like 350 a month and i know y'all be on that hulu disney plus netflix grind y'all got that 7.99 subscription spotify so you can afford 40 bucks a year and i think it's a one-time payment save up it's fine and that it, it has radically transformed my you know just recently helped my intimacy with god because god has just been giving me, I don't want to say revelations, but just been speaking to me more than I feel like I've had in a while. Because simply like when you're reading the word of God, what I often do is I zoom read, I speed read. Like simple pauses at periods are working wonders for me right now with this narrator. And obviously the narrator, you know, we don't know the expression God, Jesus had when he spoke or the apostles had when they spoke, but it just gives you a perspective and it is a tool that when it's paired with reading, it's just powerful in aiding in your intimacy and spending time with the creator of the universe and they put music and they narrate those great voices and it's just an amazing platform that i hope that y'all can take advantage of so here's a couple of scriptures about hearing the word of god matthew 11 15 says he who has an ear let him hear romans 10 17 so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of christ luke 8 15 as for the good soil they are those who hearing the word hold fast to it in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patience. In conclusion, these are all ways that I have pursued intimacy with God, ways that when, when my time with God has gotten stale, I have changed something up, or God has showed me, or God, you know, God will continue to refine me in even more ways moving forward, but I hope this helped you. But the one thing I want to emphasize, lastly, is prayer. Just speaking to the creator of the universe, and laying and surrendering your fears and your struggles before him, God, I have not had the desire to read the word of God. I have not desired to spend time with you. Just being honest and surrendering that to the Lord, like that is truly the only thing that can radically and actually have a difference. God is the only one who can change. A five-step plan or three simple tips can't really change a, a bitter heart or an unsurrendered heart. So I would just encourage y'all to pray, approach th the throne, approach the throne, um, as it says in Hebrews, I don't know it off the top of my head, but go read Hebrews. It's amazing. But with that being said, I hope this video helps y'all, and I hope the Dwell app helps you. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.